seconds and counting. How's it going, y'all? Welcome back to another Clutch Senior Entertainment video. It's your boy Big E here, and we are celebrating Victory Monday as the Texans go on to four and four. But most importantly, we're ready to talk about CJ Stroud again. I feel like we've been talking about him every week now, but man, it feels good to have him on our team, huh? So if you don't know, somehow if you don't know, CJ Stroud had the best rookie performance, rookie quarterback performance of all time yesterday, debatably. 470 passing yards, five passing touchdowns, zero interceptions. He became the first ever rookie quarterback to throw for 450 plus, five touchdowns, and zero interceptions, and only the third quarterback in history to do that in general. But my real question here is, this This, this is going to feel like an overreaction to a lot of people, but because I know it's only eight games in, but is he already the best quarterback in Texans history? I mean, does, does that feel like a bit of a stretch? I know, you know, it's still eight games into his career, and, you know, there's the longevity of, you know, at least Matt Schwab was good for two, three years, so... I won't say that just yet, but I will say that he has easily been the Texans MVP this season. He has a shout for MVP, for the NFL MVP, honestly. I mean, he's top five in passing yards, and he's the only one with less than five interceptions. He has one. Everyone else has five interceptions, just to keep that in mind. Oh, and everyone in front of him didn't have their bye week yet. Just saying. He's the only one that had his bye week. So, if the Texans can somehow finish with a very, very strong record, make the playoffs, even win their division, that, I mean, CJ would have a very good argument for league MVP, honestly. And, you know, of course, there's some bias behind this, but I am a huge Jalen Hurts fan. And I will tell you, Jalen Hurts has should be the front runner for MVP at the moment. But CJ Stroud has low-key, low-key, very, very low-key been better than Jalen Hurts this season don't don't <laughs> you know I don't want to say it but he's low-key been better than Jalen Hurts this season I mean let's just look at the rookie Texans in history right so rookie quarterbacks in history the leader for passing yards in one season as a rookie was Davis Mills <laughs> last season with 2,600 you know Stroud is already on 2,200 halfway through the season you know, the most passing yards by a rookie in Texans history was Davis Mills, just to let that sink in. So he's definitely the best rookie quarterback in Texans history. I feel like that shouldn't be a debate anymore, although we know who had a very good rookie season until, you know, he got injured and then the rest is history pretty much with him. But let's just also move on to the most passing yards in one game by a Texans quarterback in Texans history. CJ Stroud is currently third on that list with 470 after his game last night. And he's only behind Matt Schwab twice. Matt Schwab did 497 in 2010 and 527 passing yards in 2012. So Matt Schwab is kind of the guy that's, you know, calming me down on the Stroud is the best quarterback in Texans history takes. But considering how well he's been, we can definitely agree he's been the best rookie quarterback at least that's like that feels like a guarantee and then you know you have he already has more passing yards than number four you know who his best game was 426 so Stroud has already beat him he's also beaten you know that's David Carr Ryan Fitzpatrick Tom Savage you know shout out Tom Savage he had a 365 passing yard game <laughs> That that was definitely an error in Houston, to say the least. But then, if we also look at the most passing touchdowns in one game by a Texans quarterback in general, number one would be six, Mr. Ryan Fitzpatrick. He did it in November 30, 2014 against the Titans. He had six passing touchdowns, but he only had 358 yards on 24 completions. He also did throw zero interceptions that game, so shout out to him. But... CJ Stroud would be second with five. And then you also have three five passing touchdown game from Mr. Baby Yoga himself, number four. And you also have one from Matt Schwab. So these guys, you know, number four 
and Matt Schwab and Ryan Fitzpatrick, they were doing this type of stuff later towards their career. You know, their second year, third year, fifth year for Schwab, sixth year, you know. Stroud is doing this in his rookie season. I don't think we've ever seen a rookie quarterback look this good in Houston other than those first seven games of, you know, whose career. And even then, he didn't look as good as C.J. Stroud did today. You know, this season, sorry, not today. But other than that, I mean, after yesterday's performance, just to see a rookie take control of the game like that, you know, 46 seconds left, you need a touchdown. Who, who do you think of? You think of, you know, Patrick Mahomes. You think of Aaron Rodgers. You know, you think of Tom Brady. You think of these all-time greats. You want them leading that 46-second drive where you need a touchdown. And then you look at C.J. Stroud, a rookie, just stepping in, looking calm, cool, you know, collected. Easy throws, boom, quick reads, running the two-minute drill perfectly, even though it was a 46-second offense, not even two-minute offense. 46-second offense ran perfectly, utilized the timeouts, tried to get some, you know, yards after catch situations with Noah Brown, just like he said in his post-game presser, where, you know, he told Noah Brown to get a bit short on his in route so we can potentially get a yards after catch. But that didn't work out. But the thought of it being there, the way he's thinking about it in his rookie season, 46 seconds and you need a touchdown. Some QBs in their fifth, sixth year would crumble, man. They they feel the pressure and they wouldn't they wouldn't deliver. But this is a rookie in his eighth ever game doing this. It just cannot be understated how good CJ Stroud has been. You know, it cannot be understated how good he's been in comparison to what the Texans have had throughout 2002 till 2022. Those 20 years, we really didn't have anyone that can compare to how CJ Stroud has been so far. I hope he can continue it for the rest of his career. I hope he's a Texan for the rest of his career. And like I said, he has a debate, an argument for the MVP this season, seeing how the Texan season will play out. If they win the division, they somehow get double-digit wins. There is a debate to be had about C.J. Stroud being the NFL 2023-2024 MVP. And with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in and hope to see you on the next video.